You know, there's there's been a long time that I've wanted to make this video, and I'm, I'm just kind of afraid to because I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, and I know my thoughts are controversial and and whatnot. And I I didn't even know how I was going to kind of put this together, but um, it's been weighing on my mind more in the last couple of weeks, as much as it did in the beginning of my journey, and that is. I've always talked about, um, you know, this channel is not about an eating plan or an exercise um, campaign of some sort. It is kind of about my life, but also about mindset and how paramount mindset is because that is the one universal thing amongst all of us, no matter which type of way we are trying to change our lives. Mindset is the one constant. And the one thing that we're killing ourselves with is self-talk and really kind of the way our subconscious and the way our brain, the way we take the words. And there is one phrase it's supposed to be a harmless phrase that's even true, but I despise it. And I've, I hear it all the time around me here, and I've heard it on YouTube. As a matter of fact, you know, I, you know, on the, the, you know, on your page, you know, where I have take control of my life, you have it right on your page. I've had, there were a couple of channels that I even saw on, use this phrase on there that are now gone. And I, I despise this phrase. It's, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. I, I hate that phrase. And the big conflict is that phrase is absolutely 100% on the nose. So why do I hate it? I mean, when you look back, if, if, if I am on my deathbed and I look back on my life, and I look back at how much I progressed, not on how perfect I was, because I'm not perfect. And that's why I think the phrase is true, but I still hate it. And I hate it because a lot of people go into their journeys or go into a project or go into um, a goal of, of theirs with that mindset. I'm not perfect. I'm going to fuck up. But, you know, as long as I do a little bit better and better, it's fine. And not that that's bad, but it's when you start using it as a crutch that every time you screw up, you make it a little easier for yourself to screw up because you have it in your mind that you're imperfect. And I don't think of it that way. I don't use those words. I say, what the heck is wrong with chasing perfection? How many business websites do you go to the about us section let's say you go to apple and steve jobs is his mission statement oh we're not perfect we try to do better with each product we put but we're not perfect we're not even striving for perfection because it's not about perfection no people who are successful people who have sustained su su success understand that we're not perfect but we're never going to stop chasing perfection so i strike that from my vocabulary I'll never say it's not about perfection. I say it's all about perfection. There's one wonderful, wonderful thing about chasing an unattainable goal, being an imperfect person, being human. Is that the fact that you can't get there means you can always improve, meaning there's no end. Meaning as life goes on, you can evolve and you can evolve and you can evolve and you can get better and you can get healthier and you can get more successful. There is no end to this journey. There's no end to this at all. So I will never say this isn't about perfection. It is totally about perfection. And I'm going to chase perfection. Back in 2009, um, January 2009, when I started this, we did a big Biggest Losers Challenge um, here in Oshkosh with friends of mine. And I remember as I was um, hell-bent on winning this competition that... Uh, oh, one of the Saturdays we were all together, it was a birthday party, everybody everybody who was in the competition, except for me, was stuffing their faces with cake and fried foods and whatnot. And I remember confronting one of the people about this, because I wanted everyone to succeed. I'm competitive, but I like to see, I think, collectively, if we all lost a ton of weight and felt happier, life would be grand. And, of course, she used that phrase. That's where I thought about it. It's not about perfection, Greg. It's about progress. You know, and I don't really want you to think that I think that trait that um, statement is false because that's not what I said. It is a true statement. It's how we use it in our language. It's how we use it to justify screwing up. How we use it as a crutch, because I, I, I guarantee you, the people who use that statement have had a lot of time spinning their wheels. You may get somewhere, but you have huge roadblocks. And I'm not talking about just weight loss. People who succeed in everything strive for per perfection. Even though you can't get there, you strive for perfection. 
as a matter of fact, I, I, I dare you to take a look at any successful business's mission statement, see what it says. What is their vision? Where do they see themselves? How do you continue to evolve? How do you become successful? If you're not striving for, for perfection. And again, this is not this is not me yelling at the words themselves, the phrase themselves, because I believe it's true. It's how we are using them. So it, it just really it it makes me think what's wrong. What is wrong with the word perfection? What's wrong with striving for perfection? Because I'll tell you one thing. I've my Weight loss journey has really had three components to it. And I'm not talking about eating or exercising. The first one is my philosophy. The second one is my positivity. And the last one is the fact that I am doing this for me. YouTube is a tool. I do not need validation from people because I'm striving for perfection for me. I look back, I reflect on who I am becoming. Nobody can tell you what your journey is, where it's going to go. Some of us may guide you in different ways, but it is still all up to you. And you have that choice to make. Are you going to strive for perfection, even though you can never get there? And try to, to do everything. And, and I've been talking about looking at consequences of your actions. And um, also being the architect of your own journey. And being the driving force, looking at things in a positive life, all, oh, everything, the glass is half full because shit, there's a shit storm that happens in our life all the time. Life is not easy. But do you push through because you're striving for perfection? Or do you fall down because I'm human, because I'm expected to fail? And it's not about perfection anyway.